Well, the late night clashes between federal officers and angry crowds have captured the nation's attention. Now groups in Portland have filed a lawsuit trying to limit federal police activity on several Portland city streets. The suit filed by the Western State Center and two other plaintiffs argues that federal officers are overstepping their authority. Fox 12's Simon Gutierrez is live in downtown Portland with the details of the legal action and how the government is responding. Yeah, the acting secretary of Homeland Security today defended his officers' actions. He says he has no plans to tell them to stand down. The 16-page lawsuit filed in federal district court asks for an injunction barring federal officers from conducting law enforcement activities unless they are enforcing federal law. The Portland-based Western State Center, one of the three plaintiffs in the suit, claims federal agents have overstepped their constitutional bounds. Their presence appears to carry no uh, transparency or accountability uh, with local and, and state government. It is disruptive. Uh, we believe it violates the 10th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Specifically, according to the lawsuit, the part of the 10th Amendment that says power not granted specifically to the federal government is reserved to the states and the people. Acting DHS Secretary Chad Wolf defended the actions and tactics of federal officers. The law is clear on what our authority entails. We are expressly allowed to leave federal property to conduct investigations and arrest individuals who have damaged federal property. Documents filed in court after federal arrests describe federal agents taking photos of protests from an overlook position, then relaying those photos and descriptions of suspects to plainclothes agents working in the crowd. The agents later arrested Edward Carubas for pointing a laser at a Customs and Border Patrol agent and injuring the agent's eyes. A second complaint describes this video posted on Twitter. Federal agents say Jacob Gaines attacked a deputy U.S. Marshal with a hammer. They are not military. They are civilian police officers. These police officers are not stormtroopers. They are not the Gestapo, as some have described them. That description is offensive, it's hyperbolic, and it's dishonest. But the lawsuits brought against the federal government accuse agents of overreaching their authority and ask for the federal courts to put a stop to it. The assortment of tactics that that we are seeing people being snatched uh, and, and, and detained, uh, the level of surveillance that is happening, the level of aggressive intimidation of nonviolent protesters. You have now a militarized federal force uh, with no clear mandate uh, that is functioning outside of its bounds. And obviously there are a lot of legal questions here about the Constitution and, of course, jurisdictional authority. Coming up at 5.30, we spoke with a constitutional scholar about some of the limitations on federal police. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Simon Gutierrez, Fox 12 Oregon.